were there any managers like during your managerial career that you actually just didn't get along with or you had like toughs behind the scenes or anything along those sort of lines any or maybe who, maybe a manager you always wanted to be if you saw their their club coming up in the fixture list you're like oh that's the one that i've got to get one no it's one of them there's only one that i've ever really truly fallen out with fallen out with and i haven't seen him since i've fallen out with him i can't wait to see him again who's that <laughs> he took my job at qpr by talking to the chairman for 10 months before I got the sack, so he would go and watch our away games. McLaren? Yeah, how bad's that? Instead of saying, oh, actually, you still got a manager, why don't you talk to him about what your team's doing? Jesus. Or give me the job after you've got rid of Ian. Don't, Behind your back? Yeah, you don't do that, do you? I, there's certain things you don't do in football, but... Is that even legal from the club? You can't, you can't... Okay, yeah, yeah, put, it in a weird situation. Not, put, put it this way, right? A chairman can do what he likes, providing he sticks to the contract. Yeah, so right. there, there was a get out in my contract. For me, I'd have rather him, when he decided he wanted to get rid of me, get rid of me then. Mm. Yeah. You know, at least Birmingham have got rid of John Eustace yeah. now. They're not letting him pretend like to do it for 10 months and not be real. That's not a real relationship then, yeah. is it? You don't, you know, you that, don't, your missus don't want to go out with someone else, but she's going, all right, hello. Yeah, 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 what a waste yeah. of time now, isn't it? Yeah. I'd rather say, look, you're ugly, I'm yeah. going out with him. Yeah. It's it, better, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You don't, you need to know where you stand with people. I've always been, I've always been like that, you know, and, and I know that the chairman can do what he likes, but why treat me like that? I yeah. wouldn't mm -hmm. have dreamed of, to go in half-hearted at, at his club, but he was half-hearted with me because... He might have wanted Steve before he gave it to me, but Steve was at Derby at the time. So the minute Steve come, why don't <clears throat> just give him the job then? Yeah. Yeah, it's no problem. But don't accept a phone call from your chairman and say, actually, all, all right, yeah. And yeah. you know that you're going to do that. And you get yourself... Oh, if he, if he, I didn't bump into him, but if he did, how bad would that be? Mm. I'd have to say, oh, mate, uh, by the way, they're getting rid of you. Jesus. Watch your back. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever discussed it since? I haven't had a chance. I've said it everywhere I've been because it's just fuming. Is that I, not? I was fuming. You know no, how? No, but no, but that, that's, if you look at how many managers get a job really quickly after the last one, how many of them do it? Mm -hmm. I would never do it. That happened to me once. I said, uh, when you've, you've got a manager, haven't you? Oh yeah, but I said, well, no, tell him first <laughs> yeah. and then ring me back. Yeah. Mm, that's how you do it. This clip from Pitchside is brought to you by our friends at Super 6. Super 6 is back after the international break and that massive 250 grand jackpot is still there to be won. You can enter now, so get your scores selected. We've all been playing Super 6 this season and there's no reason why you shouldn't join us. It's a free shot at a quarter of a million pounds. As I said, what's not to love? Get over to the app, simply predict your six scores and that jackpot could be yours. You can also compete against myself, Theo, and Tom in the official pitch side mini league using the code PTCH23 to join it. We'll be giving away a £100 classic football shirts voucher to the person that comes top of the leaderboard this weekend. Once you're in, as I say, it's so easy to play. Just predict your six scores, enter your golden goal, hit submit, and you are all set. A free shot a quarter of a million pounds. So follow the link in the description to sign up now. There's so many more chances to win the jackpot over and over and over again. And a classic football shirts voucher on top of that if you finish first in our league. Remember, it's a free shot at £250,000. You may as well get involved. Follow the link in the description to sign up now. Because it is so frowned upon, especially when it comes to players, isn't it? Like tapping up players and stuff. It's really that, looked yeah. down upon. So it should, it should, I feel like it should be exactly the same with it's managers. It's how you are. It's how I was brought up. Yeah. Like, old man, son, you've got a lot to say for yourself. Just go through the front door, never the back, never the side door. Just through the front I agree. door. If they throw you out, get back up, dust yourself down, try and go in again. Yep. And that's, for me, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Life is like that. And I think my players, the people who play for me, the honesty that I tried to show them didn't always work. Some can handle it, but I had to let them know what I felt and I had to let them know what I expect of mm -hmm. them. And that's why you're going to wear my shirt. You should wear it like a supporter would. Even if you're the best player in the squad, like Abdel Tourette was at QPR, I probably wouldn't have picked him mm. because he was lazy and he didn't turn up on time. And I would, that would go right yeah, against yeah, yeah. me instead of Neil Warnock did it a different way. And it's brilliant. It worked for Neil, but oh, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. with how I was brought up. Do you yeah. get what I mean? I don't yeah. know if I'd have been clever enough to get the best out of him like Neil did. So that's off to Neil. But all my players knew where they stood with me because I let them know what I was expecting. You know, even in relationships, who's your partner? 
do you, does he treat you like a princess? Does he, or does he treat you like a prince these days? You never know, do you? But <laughs> none of that's my business, providing that you're being honest and straight and you know where you are, because I'll have a chance to help you then. You'll have a chance to help me to do it for real. Luckily for me, Blackpool, everybody was on the same page. Yeah, I was just yeah. about to say that. I think that everybody was relate, on the same page. I think that attitude relates to your players and the pitch, doesn't it? They were, You've always I had an honest, you, honest bunch. They were absolutely, yeah, completely out there with them driving what I wanted them to do. Yeah. And all it was was practice. I, I brought a way of playing practice, go and practice, try and get, I believe you can do this. And that we even took that into, we, you know, we didn't ever shut up shop. We didn't ever mm. close. The, we tried to be everybody. Yeah. Which was to your detriment oh, sometimes. To, on to, it, to, but. Yeah, but I couldn't change that group. And I don't think you can. I don't think Pep could change. Yeah, no. He yeah. can change tactics, but he won't change principles. In other mm. words, principle of play. Let's win it back within four seconds. Mm -hmm. No matter what style we're playing, right? That's a totally different thing. But I went there and told them what my principles of play were. Mm -hmm. Get it wide. Don't keep it in the middle of the pitch. Quite simple, isn't it? So if you're Adam a centre half, get wide, it wide. Yeah, yeah, get it wide. Can we get in? And if not, we're going to switch mm. it. So we knew, can we get in? And you'd have the left back shouting, switch it. Yeah. And we were already knowing where it's going. Yeah. But what we did was then we found ways to practice those passes. And we actually took it to the Premier League and it almost, it, mm -hmm. they were, that group was almost good enough to I, stay. Yeah, I thought you, at one point I thought you was, I think. Well, Anyway, it, it is what it is. And, you know, I, I can't ask for any more than that. But that my players knew where they stood with me. What? Last week, I, I saw 20 years ago, QPR went back up. And that was my first time I ever got promoted. I took a, we, we went down because the club was in terrible. And then you took them back but up. I took them back up yeah. three years later on half the budget. And kept them up. And kept them up. Yeah. We were 11th. And then I got put on garden and leave because <laughs> somebody else tried to buy the club. And it's just, look, don't get me wrong. You can sit here and moan all the time, but it is that chaotic. And what mm. you got, all you got to do is you do it, you review it, and then you redo it. And that's, I advise anybody in their life to do that. Yeah. Do it, review it honestly, right? Look at your part in it and try and get that better. If, if you need someone else to do what you can't do, admit it, mm. get someone else in and you'll be a success because you're growing, you know, and, and life isn't about, Winning is about learning mm -hmm. how to win from a, a bad defeat. Or, mm. a, you know, if you, if you look at Southampton a few years ago, they lost 9-0 and then their manager stayed and he kept going and he, did he draw or did he beat Man City? And then he was crying on the touchline and I, and I fully yeah, get was, it. It was, yeah. What's his name? Hassan Hootle, you know. Hassan, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rabbit Hutch, wasn't it? That's what it <laughs> no, but that's why... <laughs> translates into his name is Wolf is that what it means? yeah it's rabbit oh, on my life yeah it. it's true brilliant Happy to no but that is a chat that is a significant yeah. moment in his career because it not only did he survive that battering but he came out and got that yeah, same group to actually learn Which is what you've done haven't you like with leicester and stuff like bouncing back and oh, i didn't do it disappointing with jobs I, and then I, i've got it wrong and, and I'm sorry, I have. But what you try and do is you clear out for the next manager to come in. Some clubs you take over are in such a bad way. QPRs could not afford. They were losing 100 grand a week. Jesus. 100 grand a week. That's 20 years ago, right? So what I managed to do is get rid of all of that debt and then start again. I had seven players, two long-term out. I had nine players. And we rebuilt. We rebuilt. And... um. Three years it took us to get back, but we did, did it, it, you know, and, and for me, ask anybody who's running a business, if you can do that on half the budget, it mm. was three years ago. Mm. That ain't bad, is it?